stream during work here where I give you all sorts of content for your work day. And today we are at the end of Harold Halibut. In this episode, the crew works together for final preparations and a lot of perspective. Slippy gets the taste slapped out his mouth. And finally, the fedora charts a new path at the ending of this awesome journey. I don't want the place but the fishy on me. Got a lot to be, but I'll slap your knee. Fishy to be. All right, let's see. I'm getting there. Well? Sorry, Professor. The door control interface is weird on this terminal. It's like you click one thing and it does the opposite. Then there's a pop-up and you have to click again. Weird, Harold. You're looking at classic quality tech. The newer consoles might be fancier, but you have less manual control. And because everything is integrated, it's a nightmare if anything needs replacing. Sorry, Rafi. Can you help talk me through it? Uh, fine. <laughs> now what are you seeing? <clears throat> ah, pop-ups. It's okay. Just close them. Now what are you seeing? Lots of buttons. Of many kinds. That's the wrong tab. Go to the middle tab. Ah, more pop-ups. Stay calm, just close them. Go to the middle tab. Okay. That's the- Another pop-up! You know what to do. Ah! Pop-ups! It's okay, just close them. Ah! More pop-ups! Stay calm, just- Another pop-up! You know what to do. Just- Get to the middle tab at the top of oh. your screen. Oops. Now what are you seeing? There are two big circles. Looks like a cassette. Okay, great. There should be a small box in a circle connected by an arc in the lower left-hand corner. Click them to control the big circles on the right-hand side. Oh, looks like the bar in the middle is filling up. Good. Keep clicking the box in the lower left until the middle bar has filled up. Keep. It's finally fully filled now. Okay, so click the small circle on the left until the box underneath the big circles on the right is highlighted. Okay, so click the small circle on the... When I click the little circle, the big circles move. Okay, so click the small circle on the left until the box underneath the big circles on the right is highlighted. The box is highlighted now. What are you seeing now? A screen with the diamond shape on the left. Great, nearly there. Okay. Click the top of the two buttons on the right. And then? The box in the middle of the screen should be active now. Click the slim switch in the very center. Click the clicked. The door segments on the left should be animated now. They are. Did I do it? Go to the rightmost tab on the top of the screen. What are you seeing now? A screen with a key on one side. Great. Choose the REM cup rads around the 50 range. Harold? Click on the box that says R-E-M. Done. Okay. Click Go 8. Click Section W7 and open it. Obvious. Done. But nothing is happening. Did you press the enormous key button? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. You did it. Finally. Good job, Harold. Has that done it? Well done, Harold. My pleasure. Okay, everyone, let's get to the energy district. If Slippy is doing nefarious science, he's bound to be doing it there.
Oi, the tube isn't working, of course. Doesn't look like they're having much luck with the tube. Harold, can you still hear us? We're going to need you to look into why the tube is down. Trot, now that isn't going to be something we can fix from here. You two, do you think you can take the sub and try and see what the problem is from the outside? Yep, we know how it handles now, right, Wii U? Mm, sure, let's rev her up. Great, I'll stay here on the radio and help liaise. Okay, let's go. I'll do the grabby arm. Good luck, you two. Be careful out there. All right, so let's get back to the submarine now. Okay, we'll slow roll it down this walkway here. Man, Fishy is brave. <laughs> oh man, fell right in. All right, let's see what we can do. But see the Okay. How are you holding up back there, Wii U? Oh, it's okay. But it seems quiet without Bridget. Hey, what are you saying? I'm still on the radio, remember? Ah, uh, yes. Much better. What do you think of all this drama? I bet none of the Flumalim ever have any crazy schemes. Oh, yes. It's very curious. It makes sense that if Slippy loves snow swords, he would want to create a snow world. But it doesn't seem like he checked with everyone if they also loved snow sports first. That's a very balanced way of looking at it. But I wonder, why didn't he tell anyone? Or why didn't anyone realize he was so sad before all this happened? Good question. Humans can get very wrapped up in their own stuff, you know? And sometimes people hide their sadness because they don't know what else to do with it. Are you sad, Howell? Oh, thanks for asking. No, I'm not. Maybe I used to be. I'll be sad if we can't stop Slippy. I think all the Blumilim would be sad. I'm going to do my best with the grabby arm, though. It's going to be fine. We'll figure something out now that everyone is working together. That's the spirit, you two. Hey, even Ralphie is helping. I am still listening, you know. Well, good. But once this is all over, you all definitely owe me some peace and quiet. It's a deal, Roth. Okay. Looks like we're approaching the tube exterior. Bridget, we'll check out what's wrong first. Great. Keep me posted. Okay, Bridget, you reading us? Loud and clear. What's the situation? We've arrived outside the Agora Arcades. It looks like the actual transportation tube is disconnected. Maybe the ice broke it somehow. Trot! I guess the sudden change in pressure from the ice must have displaced or warped some of the connections. How bad is it? Well, the good news is the tube itself is in one piece. So, if we can get a good grip with the grabber, we should be able to reattach the main tube and lock it back in place. And the bad news? Oh, well, there isn't any extra bad news. Oh, good. Well, get going. But be careful, Wii If the tube cracks, the whole thing will be unusable. I'll take super care of it. Okay, let's do this. I'll get us into position now. Team Moreau is doing. Well, from what I can see, they're starting to get into the tube one by one. Chris is doing push-ups while he waits for his turn. Where are they going? Well, now they're telling me that the direct connection isn't working for some reason. Oh, no. What do you think is wrong? I'm not sure. Could be a few things. Plus, there's the potential side effects of all the ice to consider. Hmm. Seems like it was only the direct path to the energy district that was down. Maybe a malfunction in the tube's control panel? Oh, so what now? They're en route to the central station now. They'll try again from there. Okay, keep us posted, Bridget. Wee, that was really impressive grabby arm work, by the way. 
Thanks. I just thought about holding on to a slippery fish. Oh, it seems like the route via Central Station is working out for them. They're on their way now. All this makes you realize how reliant we are on those tubes to get around now, huh? What did you do before then? Well, we didn't move around as often, and I suppose we only went to places we really needed to. So you built tubes to move more often to places you didn't really need to go to? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> it is fun zipping through them, though. The whoosh sound, it takes no effort. Uh, yes. I think I'm glad to have them even with the fines and all the delays. Ah, uh, good timing, you two. Team Moreau has arrived now. So, what was the problem with the tube? Maybe it was just the electronics being affected by the ice? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to be affecting the whole system, which is a relief. Okay, <clears throat> so what now? Energy harvest is locked too! Seems like Slippy has barricaded himself using the lockdown routine. Yes. And the door can't be controlled over the computer system due to the all water emergency protocols we baked in. So it can only be opened from the inside? If he's in there doing something slippery, we've got to stop it. What are we going to do? Did we ask him? Even if we wanted to. The emergency protocols block out the security cans and tannoy. To protect potentially sensitive all-water corporation activity, he totally isolated himself. Huh. Must be nice. <laughs> no interruptions. Wait a sec. Bridget, didn't you tell me the agricultural district and the energy harvests were connected? Ooh, good thinking. Yep, by the retractable conveyors. If memory serves, the one that connects energy to agricultural is near the back of the core. Rafi, what do we do next? You'll need to lower them first from their rooftop storage, then power them up. How do you know all this stuff, Rafi? I did have a life before the arcade, you know. Anyway, ask me about that later. You're gonna need to align the belts in a continuous path so you can reach the opening that leads to the harvest. Okay, doesn't sound too hard. Let's go, Wii U. Such teamwork. I'm like a proud mother hen. I'm actually glad we didn't have a... Okay, you two. It's time you got going to the energy harvest. You going to be okay here? Yep. I'll stay here to monitor the security cameras and oversee the situation. Oh, I hope it's better to watch than those videos Howell showed me. Everyone shouting and then kissing straight after. <laughs> we hope. Just stay on your guard. And when you see Slippy, tell him I always knew he'd slip up. Uh, okay. We'll do. going to find at the end of this. What are we going to do at the end of this? You're going to get slippy. That's one way of putting it. Well, I'll think of something. It's always me who has to get his hands dirty. Slippy, we're here. It's Slipmire. I can't even count how many regulations you've breached. Halibut? The door? Harold! 
Everyone! Look, let's not be hasty. If I could just show you my plans, I was only trying to... I'll show you a plan! Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, shit! My hand! Well, that settles it, I suppose. Thanks, Chris. Is he okay? Gosh, I was overcome with emotion thinking of the children. I hope I didn't overdo it. Please, no one tell them about this. Chris, relax. It's over. And so is our chance at launching after wasting all this time. Oh well, may as well spice things up a bit in the meantime. We launch chance over? Whatever do you mean, Professor? I mean that the solar winds are due to begin again, and soon. Too soon. After these shenanigans, we simply won't have the requisite preparation complete in order to meet the safe launch window. To say nothing of repairing the damage, Slippy's icy debacle probably caused our sensitive instruments. Well, can't we risk it? What's the worst that would happen? Well, if we launch late, we run the risk of the solar flares crippling the ship, like last time, and tumbling back into the ocean. And there's no telling if our next landing will be so lucky. And if we launch on time? My calculations are nearly complete, but if we time it just a second wrong, we might sink deeper or use up our remaining fuel just to move a few miles away. Hmm. And even if your calculations were already done, what with the all-water time theft, it'd probably be late by now anyway. Time theft? Speak sense, Harold. I tried to tell you that day in your lab, but we got distracted with the probe. Me and the light keepers... I was gonna tell you I joined them. They're a bunch of teenagers found proof that all water were shaving a bit off every hour to help with the energy crisis. So we had even less time than we thought all along. What are you talking about? How and why do you shave an hour? So we have to do less work and to save energy. And well, actually not every hour, only the ones in daytime. By now apparently it adds up to two full hours each day. How? But we would have noticed. Ah, but we didn't, because of the introduction of all-water digital time, and they controlled the time in tiny little bits so it would always feel normal. So, all water fooled us more than Slippy, and we must have... Wait, saving on daytime? Ah! Harold, you wonderful, beautiful schmuck! If what you say is true, and these days the truth is stranger than one of your little head stories, then it's exactly the opposite of what you think. We have more time than ever. We do? How does that work? Think, Harold. If what we perceived as a day of 24 hours was actually only 22, that means that we haven't actually reached today's date yet. Now, let's see. All water digital time was introduced eight years ago. Cyrus, check my math. Well, even if they were shaved up to one, then two hours after a few years, we should have more than four months left until the launch window ends. Ha! Much as I love it when you're wrong, that means... My calculations were correct, but time was wrong. And it explains why we thought the space bacteria would degenerate faster than modeled. Oh, if we had just done the experiment at night time. Oh, wait. Then, and that means, and I was so blind, time, all along. It's about time, right, Rose? It's true. This is a matter of urgency. Time is of the essence. We know we were onto something when we noticed Java's watch didn't match up with the official time. And what time do you call this? Party time. The time is... I know what the time is. Time is of the essence. First time's the hardest. At the same time, a stitch in time saves nine. Four at the same time is quite a feat. And time is running out. In the meantime... We don't have time to put you on a proper routine. But maybe this whole time... All water is trying to steal time. Just what do you suppose I'm doing with the stolen time? Maybe taking the time for yourself? Now, if and when the time is right... We might even have some time for ice skating. Why not give them all the time? Your first time at Quick Soup Colorfish? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. There's no time. 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 All that time. We're going to need a few words with the Madam CEO if we're to get the exact numbers of when and how much time they've stolen. 
Speaking of which, has anyone seen her? We didn't see her on any of the cameras. Nor Zoya. Do you think they escaped being trapped? Unlikely. They were probably incapacitated by Slippy as part of his plan. They could be anywhere. We'd better split up and find them. Maybe we should start in the Allwater District. Why don't we just ask him? I, uh, don't think he's in a talkative mood. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I was just so overwhelmed. How was I supposed to know he'd take it so badly? <laughs> it's okay, Chris. At least he didn't get away. Cyrus, let's go with Harold and Wii U to the All Water District. Major, I imagine you'll want to stay with Slippy. Everyone keep in touch via PDA and don't leave any stone unturned. Let's go. Oh, and Bridget, can you tell the others over the Tannoy system to search whichever area they're in? Things are getting crazy. Crazy! Alright, let's see what's going on here. It's them. They look fine, and not at all hungry. Do I look fine? Well, I mean, it could have been worse. Those snacks are tasty. Yes. I could have been tied up with you. Can someone please tell me what is going on? Slippy engineered this whole hoax. He was never really working on a relaunch procedure. His plan was to freeze the planet into a giant ski resort. How absurd. Professor, I expected better from you. So, so there's no relaunch plan after all. I can't believe it. I'll never fly this thing. Madam CEO, I could say the same about you. We know all about the time hoax, but it's still imperative you clear up a few things. What good will it do? Still, I suppose it can't hurt at this point, and you did untie me. Fire away. Firstly, when did you start the time-skimming process? About eight years ago. For the good of the ship, of course. And how much did you shorten the days? Well, we started with 30 minutes, just letting the clocks run a tiny bit faster during the daytime. Every two years since then, we made gradual transition to another half an hour shorter. And I thought it was my fault those plants were growing slowly. Cyrus, stop blathering about plants and run the math for me, please. Okay, so that means 365 hours in the first two years, 730 to two years after that, then 1,095 hours, and then 1,460 hours, which adds up to 3,650 hours. So we have 152 days left. Or what we think of as today is, in fact, 152 days away. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of time. But how come none of us noticed? Aha. Uh -huh. This is the clever part. We tacked the shifts to the summer-winter time changes. People's circadian rhythms always go a bit haywire around then anyway. Subtle, no? So, we have time, but no procedure after all. I, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Yes, we kind of worked on a thing. A thing? Kinda. A secret backup relaunch procedure. We were never taken in by Slippy's showmanship, and sorry to say, Madam CEO, your blind trust in him. So it took me a while, but I got a little something theoretically up and running. But I was stymied by the time theft messing with my calculations of velocity. That's why my simulation failed that day, you know. We even double-checked, triple even, in everything. Well, I won't forget your flagrant distrust in me anytime soon. But I suppose your rebellious streak has borne some interesting fruits. You must explain this procedure to me so we can work on the press release. So we really might still launch after all? Yes, yes, funnily enough. There'll be plenty of time for all that. But now, I need tea and a nap. Yeah, it's been a crazy day. Tea nap sounds good to me. Spicy tea. Spicy tea? Uh, come on, you two. Let's leave Zoya and the CEO to get some rest. I'm sure it was exhausting eating all those snacks. 
We can all meet in the morning to go over next steps. Okay, I suppose we can postpone the agenda until then. I imagine there will be much that needs doing, including some serious PR damage control. All right, man. Can't be much more to do. Ah, hello, my boy. Hey, Professor. How are you holding up? Just fine, just fine. Preparations for the relaunch have gone swimmingly. Ah, great. So they're nearly done? Yes. We're really just putting the finishing touches on now. Wow. Can you believe we're about to try and take off after everything? I knew we'd figure out a procedure. But I would never have guessed at what it took to get there. Are you excited to see space again? Yes. But that's not to say I won't miss this place. It had a certain watery charm and plenty of scientific curiosity. But you know, I'm getting old. My real wish is to step foot on real ground. Yeah. It was nice to be outside of the fedora in the cave, but I suppose that's not what you're thinking of. Hmm. Indeed. I'd like to see the sky. But enough about me. How are you feeling about leaving Wii U and the Flimmelim? I know you grew close to it all. Yeah. I'm gonna miss Wii U. I'll miss it all. But this is our path, right? I think so, my boy. You'll always cherish the time you had with them. But don't you want to continue the mission? Get back to finding a real home? Yeah, it makes sense, I suppose. Do you think we will? I'm not sure, but what do we stand to lose? True. True. Have you said goodbye to Wii U and the Flimmelim yet? Not really, no. Well, no point putting it off. Saying goodbye only gets harder the longer you leave it. And so send them all my regards. Yeah, I know. I know. And Harold? Yeah? You'll miss Wii U, but over time, it does get easier. You'll be busy once we're back on course. It'll feel like a whole different life. I know. I know. I wonder if um, he's truly going to leave. I mean, I could, I could see him stay. You know, see how many texts I got. 
Oh my lord. Twenty four weeks of community service. <laughs> uh let's see, Harold, I haven't seen you in ages or we you you know it's good to mingle. Don't forget to show your faces around a bit more. Harry, you should be taking your time. Uh let's see. I got a lot of stuff. All right, let's just let's go on here. We'll see if we can meet up with Wii U. All water, moving people every day. All water, we get you where you're going. Water compliments you on your choice of destination. All right. I wonder if this is the end here. Unsatisfactory we'll journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest... Uh, and all water will make it up to you. Maybe we jump into the cave one more time. Oh, they're up in the room. Okay. Wii U. Hey, Howell. How's Fedora doing? Yeah, nearly there. Are you excited? I mean, it is exciting, but... It's gonna be so hard leaving you behind. And this place, I'm just... Yeah, maybe we'll find a new home out there, but also... Maybe not. At least, not in my lifetime. You know? I don't know. You will, or you won't. But at least you will have the chance. Hmm. And of course, I will miss you. We have true Simbo. We all will. But we're just happy we could help with the energy and everything. Yes, we couldn't have done it without you all. And I couldn't have done it without you, Wii U. And I would probably be a cold non-Wii U if you hadn't helped me get better. <laughs> everything has changed since knowing you. It will be hard to remember Tidamo now. Maybe I'll go exploring a new part of the ocean. <sighs> Can you believe how lucky we were to even meet? I always thought this luck you all have is a very strange thing. You do a thing, or you don't. But what if a thing happens to you that has nothing to do with your own actions? I don't understand. Life is like a tide, you know? It's not always obvious where a tide comes from, or is going, or how it connects to other tides. But if you are you, you go with the tide, or you go against it. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you try not to go with it. Sometimes it does. Wii U, the fedora is nearly ready to launch. This is going to be the last time we see each other. I know, Howell. I don't know what to say. It's okay. Remember, Simba, we'll always have it. Thanks, Wii U. We will. Hope you have good tides. And you, Wii U. And you. It's <laughs> awful. I can't turn around, I'm trying.
watching the leaves falling in Then you were something like a dream I know this spade back on the ship. You don't want to miss it taking off. Yes, I do. Oh, you mean... I want to stay. I know it sounds crazy, and I'll be the only human here, but... No, it's not crazy. It's just you. I would love it. But are you really sure? Won't you miss everyone else more than you want to stay here? I'm sure. I've always gone with the tide, but now I want to break out of it. Choose a tide for myself, and not the one that leads up into cold, empty space. It's the first time I've ever really been sure of anything. I believe you. You found your Blugalugalugal. Yeah. Blugalugal Simbo. Blugalugalugal Simbo. Awesome. Awesome. Running away is easy. I'm trying to remember that man's name. It's like Random Flowers or something. They've got a bunch of good songs. That guy's voice is like super distinct. Hey, Professor, there's something I need. Ah, Harold, how did it go? Well, fine, but... Great. We don't have much time. I could do with some help sorting the final, final preparations. Jeanne, I'm not coming. Okay. It's only natural you're emotional. I suppose I can finish things up by myself. No. Professor, I mean, I'm staying with Wii U. Oh. 
I'm sorry. Can you understand? Harold, I've grown terribly fond of you. But if I've learned anything about you, it's that you always defy expectations one way or another. So, you're not angry? Angry? Dear boy, I'm delighted. I will miss you like I miss my left hand. But if you finally found something you feel strongly enough to shout Jeanne at me, then I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm gonna miss you too, Maron. You've always been there for me. I wouldn't be making this decision if it wasn't for you. In a nice way, I mean. Ha! <laughs> I know what you mean. Have you thought it all through? Do you need any help with the, uh, practicalities? Not really, but what is there? I'll just take a few of my things. The Fluolim have all the materials I'll need there. I'll get settled in no time, I'm sure. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Yeah. Guess it is. Be safe, Harold. Wish us luck. I'll do one better. I'll wish you good times. <laughs> Very funny. Alright, let's see what happens here.
buddy. Right.